everyone, welcome to Higgs's Home Cooked Healthy Meals and uh, today is my first meal and we're going to kick it off with an absolute scorcher, salt and pepper beef. Now I don't claim to be a professional chef by any means, I just do a bit of cooking in the kitchen, it's one of my favourite pastimes along with um, kind of training, sports and that thing kind of thing. I've always been into fitness and nutrition so I thought I'd marry the two. Is there anything better than being able to cook your own delicious meals? I think not. So I'm here to help you basically cook easy, healthy meals any day of the week, whether that's for yourself, for your family, or you like to cook a lot of meals at once so then you don't have to cook every night. So let's get straight into it, salt and pepper beef. So at the beginning I would suggest making up your sauce ready to pour into the pan just so you're not uh, giving yourself too much to do whilst the food is cooking in the pan later on. So here's my first little mistake, I didn't slice the beef into really thin fillets, which I should have done. As you can see later on, I do take it back out the pan to slice it into thin fillets. This will just allow the flavour and the corn flour to be distributed evenly and give, it, give the beef that really crispy finish that we're looking for. So usually I'd start by frying the onion and the garlic together before adding the rest of the vegetables but as it's a stir fry and everything is cooked on quite a high heat I just wanted to get everything in the pan and cook it all together in this instance. So stir fries are one of those meals where as long as you get the base ingredients of the flavour, so things from the onion and the garlic, you can add pretty much any vegetable or, or meat or meat substitute you want and adapt it to make your own style. Um, and so yeah, it's a good opportunity to get as much vitamins, minerals and nutrients into one dish as possible whilst making it bigger, more tastier and just more enjoyable. Before the video cut out at the end, I added the noodles to the pan, so there was two servings of noodles and I just uh, folded them in so all the ingredients ran through them. And, and then I just divided the pan into two servings, left one in the fridge for the next day and enjoyed one immediately and it was delicious.